Honestly, I'm not gonna try to sit here and act like, oh, let me try to be happy. Mi chocolatito de cerveza. ¿Por qué le dices chocolatito? Pues es que así conocí yo estos calendarios de chocolatito. Pero miren. A ver. Vamos a revelar la cerveza de ahora. Se llama la Causle. Se va a acabar la memoria, ¿no? Chequenla. Ahí está. Vamos a abrirla. Esta es desde el 800. 19 Pero ahora tengo una invitada especial que me va a ayudar Me va a decir su punto de vista Hoy oh, esta tiene 4.8 de alcohol Esta tiene menos que la de ella A ver qué pedo you want to do that? It's nice and light. Oye, si vienen bien como bien, like bien grandes. This is big. Look doble. at my hand. Son de doble piso. <laughs> Ahí le dicen en el ter, en el terruño. Mm. Oh, that's a pizza. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, mm, that's good. Okay, <laughs> that's a pizza. ¿Qué dices? Me supo peperón y la güey. Dame otro pinche mordida de cerveza. Relájate, pues está bien la cervecita, eh. Pero pues no la cambio por la modelo. Esta no, la otra. Eh. <risa> bueno, vamos a finalizar el video de la cerveza. <risa> so, let's just have a chat. Um, Today has not gone the way we thought it was going to go. Um, so basically we had a video that was planned for we we're going to do a collaboration for some lights in our house. Somebody that does installation of Christmas lights. But pues vamos a decir que not very professional. <laughs> um, Juan, like I know you're so bummed about it. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. First no. off, no, well, first let me start with what I'm gonna talk about. My grandpa passed away today. Um, That's more than enough to kill the everything. Yeah, it just like really honestly, I'm not gonna try to sit here and act like, oh, let me try to be happy. You know, like, um, he, he was 89 years old. Um, he did pass from COVID. Um, actually, if I'm gonna be honest, um, And, and I'm not gonna go into detail much because I'm already, ya me ha quebrado la cabeza mucho thinking about it. Um, when I got COVID, I feel like I might have gotten it at my uncle's funeral. If you guys saw that update, life update, my uncle and my cousin's funeral. And um, I'm thinking that maybe my grandpa got it there too. I'm, I'm not sure. And um, there's just a lot, honestly, that I'm thinking in my mind, but I can't change the past. I can't change the future I can just live day to day and, and just I mean forward. yeah honestly um yeah you know we have we I have my moments um luckily I uh, we I said in our vlog okay we got tested again for COVID and um we came we back negative day. all the results us and the kids so I was able to today and it's crazy how God works um anyways we got our results today that we were negative and today my grandpa passed away and I just prayed before that if you know when the day came because we already had been told days ago that this was close okay um that I would be able to be there for my mom that I would be able to go and hug her 
and just spend time. I haven't seen my family for three weeks or more than that. Well, since the funeral, that was the last time. Um, so I'm just grateful that they haven't gotten sick because my parents do have diabetes and other medical issues. Um, so yeah, so estoy muy nerviosa for that. But, um, you know, I was able to be there for her today. We got to spend time together. Um, obviously, it sucks that in that situation que está pasando. But um, yeah, so that's basically what's going on. My grandpa did live a long life. He was 89 years old. Um, we are very thankful. I spent time with him. That makes me happy that, you know, I just hate the situation. COVID is like just crazy because with my grandma, I remember we were able to surround her and be there with her. And with my grandpa, it wasn't the same. Like, and, and I have a fear. I just want you guys to know that that's what I'm going, going through. That's what we're going through. Third. Yeah. And then on top of that, I mean, that doesn't compare to, honestly, anything yeah. uh, with my grandpa. But we did have this video planned. This video was going to be a Christmas lights reveal on our house. We were going to go all out this time. Juan's idea again. He hired a friend or someone conocido. And hace cuenta que nos quedó mal. Like, he just, yeah. So, honestly, we don't even want to work with him anymore. And we were going to do a collaboration. And we are going to give away, actually, some Christmas lights to somebody's house to decorate. But that just kind of went down the drain, to be honest. And we feel very, like, I feel honestly disrespected. Like, what's the difference of we're paying you, so why are you not treating us like a normal customer? It's okay. You know? Like, I know, I just don't get it. And it pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, I know it's I'm going to put him in an awkward situation. It is what it is, but... And then things that he said that he was going to do, and then all of a sudden now he's too busy or... Or he can't fix it, like forget about it. So that's just a whole nother thing. So we're kind of just bummed, you know? Nos arruinó el the little bit of espíritu navideño que teníamos. But so what are we gonna come up with? What are we gonna do for this vlog? <sighs> yeah, for today, I think we just have to pretty much take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. The crazy thing is que, well, two things, three things. Damn. Juan's grandpa, se, que descansa en paz, se murió ayer. Three and actually, we thought my grandpa was going to pass away yesterday. So I was like, wow, that's crazy. Three years later, my grandpa dies on the same day. But my grandpa made it till today. So he died on the third. Um, second, it's the third death in our family in a month, exactly. A month and a day. My cousin, my uncle died November 2nd. And... You know, my grandpa died today. And then third is my uncle that died on November 2nd, my cousin, and my grandfather, los tres, se llamaban Juan Reyes. So we lost our three Juan, Reyes. Juan Reyeses in the family, um, you know, like back to back. It's crazy. Like my grandpa, I remember he would always tell me like, mija, lo más seguro que tenemos en la vida he would ask me, like, ¿qué es? And I'm like, I don't know. Pues la muerte, mija, la muerte. Always full of stories, but yeah. You know, his time has come. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people going through this. this que están perdiendo sus seres queridos. Man, today, while I was at my mom's, I saw in the news this singer that died. Like, he was, like, live streaming and then just passed away, like, a few hours later. And then another person from Instagram, like, a stand-up comedian. That man, like, he was sharing his journey, like, with the whole COVID, and, and then he just died, and, and, and I saw his Instagram post, and it, like, said, like, you know, que Dios me dé la fuerza and the strength to, like, get through this sickness, and, like, he did it naked, and that's just, like, I know, like, I went through that, and I remember praying, like, please, like, I just to make, like, I want to survive, you know? And just to see that, like, it's so, you just don't know. Like, you just don't know. That's the scary when part. When it can happen. So. Another guy in Utah, 35-year-old guy, healthy dude. Yeah, to, um, the couple, un, un, is una pareja. Uh, the husband died in June, and they had a four-year-old little boy. And the mom died, like, in September, or October, I think October. And the both parents died, and the four-year-old left behind. Like, it's just so tragic, honestly. Um, so, 
for you, those of you, if you guys have lost any family members, we totally feel your pain. Just ánimo, you know. Just. Sí, la verdad que me quedo sin palabras porque, pues, está bien difícil perder. Más a, que nada porque en la situación that like they don't let people visit and you just don't know they're all alone and it's you just don't know what to believe anymore, you know. But. Thank you guys for all the love that we've been getting on in my intro and the videos you guys are commenting so much it's so crazy because like just a few videos ago I was telling about like oh they're not commenting but thank you guys oh, we love the HGTV comment La pinche fama y la lana. El <laughs> profesionalismo ya lo tenemos. <laughs> Me answer it. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just sitting here. Where are you? I'm with Juan. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Is it okay? Yeah, thank, oh, you. thank she, you. She knows that we're negative because she asked me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Daddy. We can hug now. Woo! How are you, Yanni? Good. I'm just so happy you guys are like, coronavirus free. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, we stay like that for a while. Oh, sorry. Lost. Huh? Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hey, guys. Hola. ¿Cómo anda viejón? Bigotón. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo le va? Eh, hey, lo siento mucho por tu abuelo. Gracias. Oh, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué no se va? ¿A qué hora se va a ir a trabajar? Ya están bien. Gracias a Dios. Sí, ya, ya salimos negativos. Todo. Está bien. Ya me han dado y que fue que me eche un café a salud de Juanito. Oh, Dios. Okay. Ándele, ándele, oh, salud. Alrighty, Yadi, well, I'll let you go because we're doing something real quick, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Alright, bye. Bye, Shuki. Aww. That was my compadre sister. Yeah, that was nice. Alright, well, I guess we just made a video. I guess this is the video. This is it. Sí, este va a ser el vlog número tres. It's kind of sad, actually. It's sad Pero day. este. Yeah, I'm sorry to bring you guys a sad one, but. De repente sí sucede. Mm -hmm. Pero lo bueno es de que tenemos salud y este con eso pues ya basta más que suficiente. Wow, Ahorita hasta los pinches millonarios están muriendo, así es de que no te agüites. Sé feliz con lo que tienes y disfruta. Día a día, como si fuera el último día. Mm -hmm. Bien dicho. Mami. Right. Dijo Walter Mercado y desde aquí. Hay mucho, pero mucho, mucho. Okay. Danny, put a movie on. What? Alrighty, guys, so. Ya Walter Mercado se despidió. Oh, yeah. ¿Se despidió? Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in Vlogmas Day. No, no. Cuatrito.
Tijuana traían las llantas del carro repletas de hierba mala, eran Emilio Varela y Camelia la Tejana. ¿Cómo ve? Ay, bonita, bonita. Al pasar por San Clemente, los paro la migración, les pidió sus documentos, les dijo de dónde son, ella era de San Antonio, una hembra de corazón, y ahí va por el estilo. 